Guys, welcome back to a new video. Hit the subscribe button before we even start. So this video has been a late upload and it's a bit choppy and all over the place. So I feel like I have to sit here and sort of explain and commentate the whole video until we finally get back to this point here. So to start off, we actually wrapped the we actually wrapped the rear spoiler on the TT. So we'll clip to that right now. I'm just cleaning it and I have noticed on the spoiler, which is the aftermarket one, which I did spray paint in my garage, it's not the best spray job. So I thought I'm just gonna, I've got a spare hour or so, I'm just gonna attempt to wrap it. I've got some uh, gloss black wrap. Let's go outside and uh, I think, we might as well just get started and get going. Um, my neighbors will think I'm weird already anyway, filming outside, so I might as well just carry on. This is the rear spoiler. Obviously it's a bit, I mean, yeah, look, it ain't the best paint job, really. I rattle canned it. It's not great, but over here on my wrapping area, okay, the bins, got some gloss black wrap. Gonna to attempt to sort of, see, if, even if I could just sort of wrap the top and tuck it under so you can't see it, um, or just do a line here or something like that, just so you can't see it. Um, I know it's like probably ghetto and there's probably like some proper wrappers out here like, oh yeah, you need to do this, you need to use knifeless tape. Um, if I can wrap the top of it quite well, then I may take it off and then wrap the bottom because it's not going to be that hard. And then um, obviously I've got to do it in two pieces. If you can do it in one piece, then good for you, but I can't. So let's just get going. Let's just do it. There it is guys, I've finished it. Um, am I happy with it? Mm, not quite, I was expecting a bit better. Um, I mean, like it is fully like wrapped now and it's glossy and everything, but I don't know if you can just sort of see. If you can see down, look, it's still, I don't know, like it doesn't look, if you're looking on top here, it doesn't look quite, I don't know, like level, but that's the same with underneath, I think. Just because this is sort of like a cheap fiberglass spoiler, I don't think it's like a very smooth surface on top. I think, I don't know, I don't know if you can sort of see it on camera, but it just doesn't look, it's shiny, but it doesn't look smooth. Like it looks sort of like lumpy, but I think that's just because of the cheap fiberglass. It's not perfectly straight. You probably should have sanded it down flat or something before I did it, but I think we've got a few other bits and bobs to get on with the day. So uh, we'll carry on from here then, but spoiler's done. Good uh, six out of ten on that. Let's carry on. So the rear spoiler was wrapped. Um, it actually turned out okay. It's a week has passed now, and it and it looks mint. And I've cleaned the car, and it and it, and it does look wicked. So after that, I uh, then needed. So Liam, my friend, he needed his mum's car servicing and brake pads putting on. So I thought it's a good chance to use the Carly app. So uh, we went over to Liam's house to service the Audi A1 which I didn't film but then afterwards we needed to delete the service light and um, all the gubbins like that so we did delete the service light on the Audi A1 
So this Audi A1 has just had a service, full brake pads all round. He says they keep, they keep getting a random fault appear on the dash, which is not there at the minute. Uh, something to do with the rear light. So we're just going to scan it now and we're going to see what comes up. Let's have a look. Into diagnostics and then we're just going to search diagnostics. We're just going to let that run. So it's came back with, um, if you see that, one fault there. So uh, let's see what that fault is. Yeah, there it is, the right brake tail lamp. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clear it. I don't know, there may have just been like a fault, I don't know, maybe a brake light went out or something, it's not quite worked right, but we're just gonna clear that off. So that's cleared. Please turn your engine off and on. So hopefully that would have cleared it. I guess we'll never know until um, she starts driving around because it apparently randomly just appears, but we've cleared it, so hopefully that would have sorted it anyway. And then Liam needed some, um, Liam needed his service light and a few diagnostics plugging in on his Golf GTI. So we actually used the Carly again so guys right now we're going to be using the carly diagnostic tool on liam's golf gti so he's just messaged me today he's just saying that he just wants his service lights resetting all you gotta do with this guys if you've not saw the if you've not saw the previous videos on the carly app click in the top right hand corner now and you'll see all the bits and bobs that it's done to the tt but um all we're going to do now it's really simple it's just a little diagnostic app tool which connects to your phone you can code the car you can diagnose the car it's actually really good and I really really do recommend it so if after watching this you do decide to buy one make sure you click the link in the description below and use the discount code uh, below as well and you'll get I think you'll get 25% off using my code off the actual diagnostic tool and then all you need then is a phone and the app which is free so you can connect to that so let's connect up to here so all we do is we plug it into there, like that. Turn the ignition on. Right, I've turned the car on. So he wants that service light. He wants that service light taken off and uh, we'll code it as well and just see what's available to unlock. Change the car. It is a Volkswagen. Press it again, then we're going to go connect, we're going to connect to the car. Right. So then you come to this screen, um, so you come to this screen, we've, we've got diagnostics, coding, garage, service, well we want to service, we're going to service like, read, read service data, we'll reset everything like that. Guys, remember, if you're watching this already and you, and you are enjoying the video, make sure you have clicked subscribe. So right, service data, we've got a text, go away. Service data read successfully, we'll press OK. We've got all this here, so all we just want to do is reset service data. Then we wait, service data is being reset. Reset successful, lovely. OK, so that's been reset, easy as that. So let's go on to his diagnostics here. Continue to diagnostics, start diagnostics. Then this is all this is going to do is run a complete um, reading and show me what's actually faulty with the car and show me the, all the lights that have been um, coming up on the dashboard as well and it will give me the option to clear them off as well which we will look at so at the minute we've found five faults as well this car has been remapped or anything uh, has as well and if you guys are looking at this and worrying about that it's going to affect your remap or anything like that then it won't because what this does when you plug in to the car it re it reads the whole ECU the whole map and everything like that and it keeps it stored so you anything if you do change anything it can just go back to factory settings if you wanted it to but it won't actually mess with any remaps or tune in at all so we've got 12 faults Liam's got 12 faults, so let's have a look. What are these faults? So, oxygen center, which is obvious. Um, that is because he's got a decap. Seatbelt warning light. So something wrong there with his seatbelt warning light. Let's 
to clear them off. We'll just clear the faults anyway. And we are finished there. So we click that. Please turn engine off and on again. Okay, so let's do that. Service light is gone, disappeared. So that's why his uh, lights come on. Front right parking light. So we're not going to get that off because he does have a uh, parking light on the front right which is out. So we're not going to get that off. Unfortunately, but just to show you that there is a parking light fault there. So it's probably, if you're watching this and you have clicked on this, you probably do want to know as well what sort of stuff you can unlock and can code on the car, which uh, I'm not going to do anything because it's not asked me to code it or anything like that, but I will show you what you can unlock on the Golf GTI. So if you go to coding, continue to coding, you check compatibility. Now what this will actually do now is store and sort of back up the whole system and the whole setup that your car's got at the minute so if you do unlock something or do change something that you didn't want to then you can restore it back to how it was before you coded the car so we'll check back with you when this bar has gone all the way to there and we're done uh, and also as well yeah before we go into this it does work on android and it does work on iphone as well so no comments asking me if i'm on both because it does work on both so basically we've got the lighting alarm system brakes tire pressures blah 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 so now i'm not going to change any of this just because he hasn't asked me to but i'll just show you what we can do so we can change the daytime running lights uh, we can change the daytime running light brightness we can change it's so uh, the front lights says daytime running lights you, you can have the turn signals as a uh, parking light and um, what parking light front brightness rear brightness you can have the coming home lights on headlight cleaning teardrop wiping rear i don't know what that is voltage monitoring turn signals there's a lot of stuff automatically unlock the car when the key is pulled out of the ignition that's on already. Unlock doors when turned off. Lock vehicle at 15 kilometers. Auto lock. Audible key confirmation. So when you press the key, like on my TT, it'll make a little beeping noise when you unlock it. There is a lot of stuff you can do on this. Locks rear lid. Oh, open slash close the windows by turning the key inside the rear lid's lock for a longer period. But yeah, as I said guys, there is literally a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go into it too too much because this video is going to go on and on and on and be long and long. If there are any questions about the Carly app, make sure you click, make sure you uh, write in the comments box below and I'll try and reply to all of you about any questions about it. I'm going to finish there on the Golf. Um, I'm going to finish there and now we're going to clip back to us. I think we're going to head back home now and uh, we'll see whether we carry on the video from there. I'm not too sure, uh, but let's see where we go after this. The Carly app works on like Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, Lamborghini, Bentley. There's a bunch of cars that just work on. So I can't like promote it enough. But if you guys do want to buy it, make sure you click the link in the description below. That brings us to today where we will actually be going to remap the Audi TT. But that will be in maybe this week's video. Depends on how quick I edit it. So make sure you click subscribe to see the TT being remapped and we'll see what performance gains we can get. Thanks for watching the video guys. Make sure you click subscribe. We'll see you in the next video where we remap the TT. Peace out.